M0 FXB ham tech. Just a quick one here showing you that APRS does work with the Open GD77 firmware update on the MD9600. So I, you know I've done a couple of videos showing you how to set this up, but let's just let's just show it in action. So APRS on my FT5, and we're just going to key the mic just here, let go, and you can see APRS has just appeared on my FT5. So with the new software firmware for GD77, you've got a menu selection. If you go menu and go up, you'll see that there is a, a new, where is it? We have to go to options, enter, and there you are, up and down, options, enter, and you've got a new selection there called APRS options. And you basically set it up. I've enabled the, the PTT and I've told it to use GPS location and that makes it transmit. You do add it into your channel as well on your co-plug. The channel is really easy to set up. I'll just quickly show you a screenshot. So you've got the sort of APRS new selection there. Double click it and you get this little red window which takes you here. Then when you double click on just on the beginning of it, you can add several. And then you get this window here. Look how simple it is. Message, call sign. I didn't change hardly anything. I don't think I changed anything apart from the title. APRS, so when you set when you create the channel, you can do it using the radio, but it's a bit long-winded. This is the actual channel, and all you do is here you select APRS. You know, if you turn that off, then it won't transmit APRS basically. Look, none or APRS. That is linked to the list that I just I just showed you. Then in the UK it's 144 800 analog. You can put location in, you can tell it to use the location from the channel if you want. And uh, in, I think USA is one, is it one four four nine hundred? But anyway, it's the same idea. So it just works. And once the FT5 has received one message, then it just stores it in a list. And then you just go to the list, like so. And then go to lists, tap the list or press function. And you can see it and any messages that you've, that you've, you know, you've told it to say. And I told it to say Hamtech. Are there and obviously that's the, the the average location that I've added. So wow, I mean it's pretty good, isn't it? You know, this is like this is the budget radio. They're not expensive these radios, and it does VHF, UHF, DMR, APRS. It does satellite tracking as well. Remember, so if we go to enter, go up to satellite, and this is where you want to get your location in. It doesn't have to be a GPS model. Look up to satellite, enter. I wants the date because I've just just um, added new firmware, so it wants the date. And there you go. I've just got enter, and then look, and then you get the what satellites are coming, frequency with the Doppler shift, and the way you load the sort of satellite information on your co plug when you're on this window here. Select at the top extras. Let's just close that a minute. Extras. Then GD77 support. Then go here, install satellite keps, it's called. And that to do that every day when you want to use it as satellite. You can also load up your all the 300,000 contacts, I think, for your CS, CSV and you can change the colors as well of your device because actually on this device it's not color but if it was a color device you can you go down to theme editor which of course there's no color on this device um, and you can change all the colors bye for now seven three